Nigeria's lawyer writes Oanezi. He warned the group not to sit on the legal fence, noting that Nigeria plans to imprison Kanu indefinitely without friar. According to a report by The Punch, Bruce Finn, the United States based lawyer or the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namde Kanu, has written to the Oanezi Ndigbu. He warned the group not to sit on the legal fence, noting that Nigerian, Nigeria plans to imprison Kanu indefinitely without trial. The letter dated May 31, 2022, was addressed to the President General of Oanese Ndigbu, George Obiozo, and made available to newsmen by Kanu's special counsel, Aloy Ijimako, on Tuesday. In the letter, Bruce Fenn of uh, Bruce Fane Law Firms, Washington, D.C., exposed alleged plans by the federal government to imprison Nambekanu indefinitely without a trial, praying for Ada for his death. It has become obvious beyond a reasonable doubt that the Fulani zealots have no incriminating evidence against him. They aim to imprison Nambekanu indefinitely without a trial, praying for Ada for his death or handing his fraudulent prosecution to the next administration and wash their hands like Pontius Pilate, part of the message read. Part of the letters read, For nearly a year, Namdi Kanu has been punished by indefinite de uh, detention in solitary confinement and, defined and denied access to needed nutrition, medical care, and counsel of choice in violation of international human rights law and the Nigerian constitution. The Fulani government notoriously honors the constitution in the breach rather than in the observance. Namdekano has also been denied his right to a public prompt and fair trial before an impartial judge. The Fulani have amended the charges against Namdekano three times. They remain infinitely vague. They trespass on the universally recognized international law right of every people to self-determination exalted in Article 1 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights and Article 3 of United Nations General Assembly Resolution 61-295, Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, 2007. Notwithstanding armies of lawyers and investigators, the Fulani remain unprepared for trial after the elapse of more than 11 months since Unamde Kano's detection, detention in Abuja. They see there is no trial date. <laughs> Can you ima imagine such a thing? Unless uh, uh, Nigerians are watching. Finn, who is a Unamde we say Namde Kano, international lawyer and spokesperson, further warned Oanezi, face up your legal and moral responsibilities as professed Biafran leaders. Do not show your heels when danger appears. So, who much is given, much will be required. According to Luke 12 48, all that is necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men and women. To do nothing. Namde Kano is one of you, born on the same soil, raised on the same food, bowed by the same music and dances, and nurtured by the same culture, inspired by the same flag. He has risked that last full measure of devotion, including dodging bullets of wound would be assassins, to deliver the Biafran people from the cruel oppressions and genocide of the Fulani controlled governments of Nigeria like Moses and Pharaoh in the Old Testament. Fain said the prosecution climbed to a new level of fast on May 25, 2022, adding a bail hearing had been set by Justice Binta Yanko for May 26. Bail has been denied on the posterior theory that Nnamdi Kano previously jumped bail in September 2017 when he barely escaped an assassination attempt by exercising his unalable rights to self-preservation when Nigeria security forces riddled his residence with bullets, murdering many others. An Abia High Court 
has awarded Namdi Kano 5 billion naira for flag for that flagrant and notorious violation of fundamental rights. The day before the bail hearing, Justice Inyanko announced through the court registrar that she had become indisposed and had adjourned the case another month to June 28, 2022. Couldn't the justice concord a better excuse like affliction with COVID? Indisposed miss a mild illness that passes in days. A more likely explanation is that Attorney General Abubakar Malami, acting on the instructions of President Muhammad Buhari, ordered Inyanku to, ag- to again postpone the proceedings because the prosecution has no case. Depend upon it without public denunciation of Namdi Kano's continued political persecution, thundering like a hammer on an avon demanding his release and a dismissal of the manufactured charges with prejudice. The June 28th Bay hearing will also be postponed ad infinitum. Nambicano's cruel punishment without trial will persist in the serious violation of the Nigerian Constitution and international law. You collectively have a legal and moral duty to speak out publicly against this travesty of justice that daily inflicts great misery on the Biafran people. Do not become traitors to the noble cause. Risk a tiny fraction of what Nabdi Kanu has risked to regain Biafra sovereignty. It was stolen by the British over a century ago, and the Fulani have refused to restore it by restoring, resorting to genocide. Silence is not acceptable. Neutrality between the firefighter and the fires is not an option. You cannot escape the judgment of history. Show you are made of sterner stuff than these links. Record that last June, Namdekano was kidnapped, tortured for several days and extraordinarily renditioned from Nairobi to Abuja in a criminal conspiracy between Nigeria and Kenya. Fain advice the conspiracy was part of an ongoing Nigeria genocide of Biafrans prohibited by the Genocide Convention. The aim is to exterminate them through killings, rape, plunder, starvation, theft of real and personal property, and a collective denier of livelihood. Yes, a word is enough for the wise. See what Gumi is doing, left, right, and center. I think I think these guys are just afraid. And what you are looking for, the presidency you are looking for, you know that it's already slipped off your hand. Unless you are going to be supporting Peter B. The presidency you are looking for from the hand of a the presidency in APC. In PDP, you've already lost it. APC, huh, it is a no, 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 no. It is glaring. So forget about it. So that is the reason why they are just trying to be politically correct. See, Gumi, the way it's coming at the man who said, oh, I'm not going to be speaking on behalf of a bandit because now they have been proscribed terrorist is now coming out with his full chest to say Nigeria government must dialogue with these people that they know that they are their children who are killing who are kidnapping but they have to settle them handsomely they have he has that bonus nobody's going after him so I think uh, it boils down on what uh, the lawyer is saying it's boy it boils down on what he's saying it boils down on that you can imagine so how would they go about this whole thing? We always uh, we always be thinking USA people are the wisest people on it. Now I know they are there are some animals and foolish uh, human like Bruce Fane. I'm quite sure you are not a lawyer but a public enemy. Hmm. If you don't even have anything meaningful to say, you better keep short. Why are you referring to Fane like that? Nam de Kano. Okay, this American charge and bail lawyer, what is concern you concern Nigeria matter? Eh, what is concern now? You go no alpha. You go no what is concern now. Very soon you go no what is concern now. There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt.